Alex Rodriguez, it's, it's an interesting case. Unlike Bonds and Clemens, who, okay, most of us kind of know that they were juicers, but A-Rod actually failed a test, more than one actually, and served a suspension. Would this player have been a Hall of Famer had they never touched steroids? Sometimes I don't know. Jose Canseco, you know, is like a guy who's got Hall of Fame type stats, but what if he never touched steroids? I, I'm not so sure he would have got those numbers. But for A-Rod, I believe he would have. I think A-Rod was a once in a generation type talent. I think he would have had a very worthy Hall of Fame career if he never touched steroids. I think the extra help propelled him to hit 696 home runs, win three MVPs and make 14 All-Star teams. But you cut those numbers, down significantly, he still would get in. So he also won a couple gold gloves with the Rangers. So for me, A-Rod, he was still one of the greatest of all time. And I personally, I never really liked him. That piece of shit up there, I never liked him. I never trusted him.